Hello everyone, and welcome back to another quiz tutorial. In this tutorial, we're going to be covering quiz number 9, which focuses on invariance. Now, invariance may sound really scary, but much like the other concepts, it's actually pretty easy. Because as you'll see that there are three invariants, and each invariant has its own formula. So if you write down the formulas on a little cheat sheet, bring it into the midterm, and the question asks for an invariant, well, you just go to right to your formula and plug and chug away. The other good news about this quiz is that it's short. <laughs> Thank goodness, because that last quiz with linear maps, that was a pretty beefy one, as you guys saw from the length of the video. This one should be quick and easy, not too bad. So with that being said, let's look at the formulas for the invariants. All right, to aid me in showing you guys the three invariant formulas, I defined a matrix M, which is three by three. So this will kind of help show you guys how to use the formulas. So as I mentioned, there's three invariants, and each one of them has a specific formula. So the first invariant is also called the trace. So to define the first invariant, what we do is we go I with the little subscript 1 and then of M. So this is the first invariant of matrix M, which is also equal to the trace of M. And this one's the, probably the easiest because all you have to do is sum up that diagonal row. So M11 plus M22 plus M33. It's that easy. It doesn't matter what M13 is. It doesn't matter what M32 is. Nothing like that. It's just a nice quick summation. Now the second invariant, this is the one that you guys may not like the most because this, this is the one that kind of sucks. The reason why is because of that second term, and we'll get into that. But if we look at the formula, it's equal to 1 half times the invariant 1 squared. So that invariant 1, well, that's just the exact same as what we had above. So by the time you guys get to invariant 2, you guys should already have that term figured out. The thing that kind of sucks with this one is the second term right here. So it's the invariant 1 of mm. So it's very simple to do. All you have to do is take your matrix M, multiply it by itself. And if you have a three by three matrix and you multiply it by a three by three matrix, you're going to get another three by three matrix. So the first thing you're going to have to do is multiply the two matrices together, or I guess the same matrix together. And then you're going to have to take the trace of that second matrix MM. So that's kind of where it gets a little bit tedious, but after that, it's not too bad. Then you just substitute everything in. The only thing I'd like to keep in mind is that there is a squared sign uh, under the invariant one of just the plane M. So that first term, there is a squared sign. A lot of students will forget that squared sign, I guarantee it. And then the final invariant, I3 of M, is just the determinant of M. So we talked a lot about the determinant back in the previous video. So by this point, you guys should know how to take the determinant of a two by two matrix, of a three by three matrix, and even a four by four matrix. So that one should be nice and easy to you guys. So to help explain these just a little bit further, we're going to jump into the quiz. The quiz is nice. It's only one question and it asks us to find the three determinants of a matrix. So with that being said, let's jump into the quiz. All right, guys. So there's one question in this quiz, which is very nice. And it says, find the three invariants of the following matrix. So M is equal to 1, 2, 0, 0, 1, 0, and 0, 0, 1. So all we have to do is go back to the formulas that we already know. And again, you should write these on a cheat sheet just to bring it to the midterm. It's open book, so why not? And then we just basically have to <laughs> substitute everything in and plug and chug our way to the answer. So we're going to start with the first one, and the first invariant is the nicest. So we say I1 of M. And again, if it asks for the trace of M, which is defined as TR of M, they're the exact same thing. This is going to be the sum of those diagonal components. So when I mean diagonal components, I mean the ones that I just highlighted there. So M11, M22, M33. So notice how it's always 1, 1, 2, 2, 3, 3. If we have a 4 by 4 matrix, we'll include M44, stuff like that. So this is nice and easy because this is going to be equal to 1 plus 1 plus 1. So again, this is M11 plus M22 plus M33. And we get the trace of M is equal to 3. So as you guys can see, pretty easy question. <laughs> you guys may not even need a calculator for this kind of question, which is great. If you don't need a calculator, then it's perfect. Nice, quick, easy midterm question. But then invariant 2, this is when things get a little bit more challenging. So we come down and we're just going to write the formula for invariant 2. So I2 of m is going to be equal to 1 half. So 1 half is just a number. We shouldn't be scared of that. Times I1 of m squared. And we just define this above. So we already know that I1 of M is 3. And then plus, oops, sorry, not plus. Oops. This is a minus sign. Minus invariant 1. So we're going to need the trace of matrix MM. 
So this is going to be the only thing that kind of sucks in this problem. Because if we come through here really quick, well, one half, well, that's just one half. I1 m, we know that this is equal to 3, because this just comes directly from above. So the only thing that we're going to need to find is what, it, what is I1 of m m? Well, to find that, the first thing that you should do is you probably say, hey, I need to figure out what exactly m m is. So again, this is just the matrix multiplied by itself. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to write the matrix M. So we're going to have 1, 2, 0, and then 0, 1, 0, and then 0, 0, 1. So this is matrix M. And sorry, this takes a long time to write a matrix. I feel bad if you're a 102 prof. Sit there forever just drawing brackets. All right, and we're multiplying this by itself. So we're going to have the same matrix. So 1, 2, 0, 0, 1, 0, and we have 0, 0, 1. And that's all you're going to do. So there's two ways to solve this. One is, of course, by hand or just by inspection. I'm not sure how great your guys' linear algebra is, but mine is <laughs> mine's the shit. So I just throw it into my calculator, if I'm being honest. And what you get is you get 1, 4, 0, 0, 1, 0, and 0, 0, 1. So all I did was take those two matrices, multiply them together, and then I get the new matrix, which I'm just going to leave as matrix MM. Now to find the trace of mm, so we want i1 of mm, which is also the trace of mm. We're just going to sum those components again. So I'm just going to draw my nice diagonal line, and we see that it's actually the same where it's 1 plus 1 plus 1. So the invariant 1 of mm is actually equal to the invariant 1 of m, which is 3. So I come down here, and if I want to find invariant 2 of m, I just have to substitute everything into the formula. So I2 of m is going to be equal to 1 half. So that's just a number. Don't be scared of the 1 half. And then we're going to have I1 of m squared. So we're going to have 3 squared minus I1 of mm, which we know is just 3. So we substitute everything into here. Throw it in your calculator if you want. Or you can do the mental math. <laughs> From my experience, the mental math does not end well. But you get invariant 2 of m is actually equal to 3. So. Right then and there, we found invariant 1 of m is equal to 3, invariant 2 of m is equal to 3. Uh, this is a kind of a coincidence. Don't always think that i1 is equal to i2. Not always the case. More of a coincidence. And then the last thing that we need is invariant 3 of m, which we said, again, is just the determinant of m. So for a 3x3 three three matrix, very, very easy to get the determinant. So if I wanted the determinant of m, I'm going to just going to go determinant of m is equal to, so it's going to be that first coefficient. Actually, I'm going to, we should write it down here just so that uh, everybody can follow along without having to scroll up and down. So the determinant of m is going to be 1, 2, 0, 0, 1, 0, and then 0, 0, 1. So it's actually just taking the triple scalar product. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take, and I'll switch the highlighter, I'm going to take this first coefficient 1, so I'm going to go 1, and I'm going to multiply it by these. And what I do is I, <laughs> I call it the Jesus fish. It actually came from a different instructor. But what I do is I come down, and I come up, and back down. So it looks like a little fish. And what I do is I follow the order. So I go 1 times 1, and then minus 0 times 0. So this is how I taught the, the Ench 130 kids, and they never forgot it. I know it's definitely a, a weird way to teach it, but it somehow works, and you'll never forget it. So then I move on to the second one. So my coefficient, oops, <laughs> that wasn't the highlighter. So my coefficient this time is 2, so I go minus 2, and then in brackets I do my little fish again. So 0 to 1, and then 0 to 0. So in this case I got 0 times 1 and then minus 0 times 0. So we already know that this one's just going to be 0 in the end. And then I go to my third coefficient. So let me just erase the highlighting here. So my third coefficient in this case is the 0, so plus 0. And if you guys want, you can realize that, hey, this is going to be equal to 0, so I don't really need to continue on, but I'll do the fish anyway. So we go 0 to 0, and then 1 to 0. So this time 0, 0, minus... 1 times 0. So it's a, a bit of a, a longer <laughs> equation, but again, you guys have calculators. So just to find the matrix M, and I'm sure your calculator has a function to find the determinant. 
because if we do all this, we quickly realize that, and I'll switch colors here, uh, zero, well, that's all just going to be zero. Uh, two multiplied by zero minus zero, well, that's just also going to be zero. So we realize the determinant of one, uh, sorry, the determinant of m, I'm spoiling the answer, it's just going to be equal to one. And since the determinant of one, sorry, <laughs> I can't talk at all. The determinant of m is equal to one, we say, oh, I didn't know what I was doing there. We can say that i3 of m, which is equal to the determinant of m, will be equal to 1. So just a quick summary for those of you guys who just skipped to the end, because I know you're out there. We got the invariant 1 of m is equal to 3. We have the invariant 2 of m is equal to 3. And the invariant number 3 of m is equal to 1. So that concludes this quiz. Like I said, nice, quick, easy quiz. Exactly what we needed after the last one. Hope it helped. I hope it cleared up determinants. Determinants. Well, I hope it cleared up determinants too, but I hope it cleared up invariants because invariants will be nice, easy marks on your midterm. So thank you guys so much for listening. I will see you guys in the next quiz.